Hello everyone, Sean here once again. It is March 5th, 2022, and we're back with another Daily Nerdle. As always, if you want to do this puzzle yourself before seeing the answer here, feel free to pause the video and go to nerdlegame.com. That link is in the video description below. If you like this content, please take a moment to like and subscribe. It really does help me out a lot. But for now, let's get into today's puzzle. So, our favorite equation here, 3 times 4 plus 0 equals 12. All right, not a three-digit number. We also have reduction only. So we have established before that we can have um, a, if we have the, the three-digit number, we only have a two-digit number and a one-digit number over here because the, the equals would go, actually, let me just type this out so it's easier to see. If the equals goes there to leave a three-digit number behind, all we have on this side is three digits to play with. So if we don't have addition or multiplication, we cannot make a three-digit number. So this will be a one-digit number. Now let's figure out which one it is. We have a four somewhere in there. Let's use nine divided by three. Can't hit that key. Nine divided by three. Um, Minus, oh, we need to have a two digit number. I keep forgetting when we do this. One of these has to be two digits long. So 18 divided by, we can't have a three. Can't have a one anyway. Uh, let me go up a little higher to make sure this is at least a viable option so we can learn something off all the d digits. 54 divided by nine, that'll be a good start there. Divided by nine is six uh, minus I just I guess let's just throw in the four minus four equals two so we're not learning something off of every digit here but I don't want to waste too much time going through let's get some data here okay we got the format exactly right and we found the location of the four so everything we knew off of the first guess we have now put into place. Now it's just a matter of figuring out what those remaining digits are. And we don't have any digits except for the six, seven, and eight to play with, not even the second four. Um, also, there are four slots open for three digits, so at least one of these is going to be doubled, if not two or three. Um, sorry, at least one of these is going to double. Um, if not, we might have two of this of multiple numbers or even three of the same number is what I meant to say. So let's look here at what can be divided when it ends in four. 84 um, can be divided by, um, let's see, 21. 84 could be divided by seven, theoretically. 64 could be divided by eight. So Let's start with 64 here, divided by 8, will equal 8. So, if that equals 8, we don't have a second 4. It would work if we could have more 4s. We're at 8 now, minus 4 equals 4. Would be great, we don't have a 4. So. I don't believe this can be 64. I believe this has to be 84. So 84 divided by 7 is 12, and we're left in that same scenario, minus 6 equals 6. Okay, we got the 84 right. Uh, it is not, however, divided by 7. So 84 divided by, ah, um, we can't do four. Oh, so we can do, oh, 84 divided by six would be 14 minus six would be eight. Great. I was stuck that it had to be divided by seven, but it, it doesn't have to be. So 84 
divided by six, divided by six. Sometimes the interface on Nerdle is not the best. 84 divided by six is uh, 14. Minus six leaves us eight, and I believe that has to be the answer. Yes, it is. All right, very fun one today. I find I enjoy a little more when we have a one or three digit number over a two digit number. Um, kind of throws more, more logic into it, I think, just on average, um, but very fun. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember to like and subscribe. It really does help me out a lot. And share this video with anyone you think would enjoy some daily math puzzles. That's all for now, and we will see you all tomorrow.